First step, we want to get all our vegetables prepped out. We want to let our pork chop temper so it cooks more evenly so it doesn't dry out. So we got, we got our radishers trimmed up. Got some ninja radish, Easter radish, icicle radish. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to break this squash down. So pop that top. I tried to think of the way these flavors would go together. Pork is not something that would generally be spiced with this seasoning. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of uncommon, right? So it's more of a fusion dish, yeah. kind of a new American thing. In the part of the world where they eat Ras al Hanawit, there's, there's not a whole lot of pork being eaten. It's considered haram, right? So I wanted to make it a little bit more seasonal, make it something exciting that's going to work. It's going to take all this beautiful squash. It's cut about the same size, pop it into some boiling water. I'll let that cook for about 10 minutes till it's about fork tender, which we'll check with tweezers. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our pork chop, get this seasoned. So I'm going to take good quality olive oil, and rub this guy down. Take our spice mixture, I'm going to coat generously, sop up all those beautiful seasonings. I'm going to let it sit like that for a couple minutes. Next thing we're going to do is get cast iron pan nice and hot. Good way to check that, just take a drop of water. Pork chop's going to go in. What we're doing now is we're trying to render out some of the fat from the pork chop. So. Get a nice sear. That's how we didn't burn any of the spices though. So now we're going to add in a generous scoop of butter. We're going to start slowly butter basting this guy. This is going to keep the pork chop from drying out, help the cooking process. That nice foamy brown butter is going to give us a beautiful crust on this. It's also going to help the pork chop not dry out. All right, at this point we can kill the heat, let it rest for a minute, and then we're going to transfer it to a resting rack. We're going to transfer the hot squash directly after straining into a blender for a Vitamix if you have one. If not, any blender at home will work great. It's very important that you don't throw out your starchy water from your squash as you're going to use that for the emulsion too. Next thing in, about a tablespoon of butter, about a teaspoon of good olive oil, salt, a pinch of black pepper, squeeze of fresh Meyer lemon. Then I'm just going to take a spoonful or two of our water. And blend this up. Our beautiful squash emulsion. We can let our sauce rest for a second. Time to fire some vegetables. Nice hot pan. Radish is in. Just our seasoning. We're just going to cook our radishes for about two minutes until they're al dente. Finish with a small spoon of butter. You see our butter starting to brown. And add our lemon juice. Slow down the cooking process and build a nice little sauce. Now we can turn off the heat. Last thing we're going to do for our radish salad, we're going to finish it with a generous portion of chai baton. You can let that rest just like that. Next step, moment of truth. It's time to cut up our pork chop. We're going to cut down, take off, off the bones. We're just going to follow that bone line like that. Bone's going to go right there. So now we're just going to come straight down against the grain, get some nice beautiful slices, that beautiful medium on the pork chop there. 
Uh, it's cooked beautifully. Um, now we're going to take this bone, use this decoratively. Just going to put it right on the plate there with some delicious meat on that. We're going to take our gorgeous pork chop, pick it up. It's going to go right in front of the bone. We're going to take our radish salad. I'm just going to generously spoon those right over the top, using that bone to kind of hold them up. Lastly, we're just going to fill in the negative space with some of our beautiful squash emulsion. There we go.